All of the other things, the sensors and the drones, it's all wonderful to have, and it works well, but only if you have the wall. If you don't have the wall, it doesn't matter. A drone isn't stopping a thousand people from running through. And so we can all talk. And, and you know, interestingly, uh, if you look, every — virtually every Democrat over the last 15 years, they've approved what we're asking for. So I think we're doing something. I think we're getting closer. Uh, but we really have to think about the people of our country. This is not a fight I wanted. I didn't want this fight. We have to think about the people of our country, and we have to do what's right at our border and, and many other places. But we have to do what's right at our border. Human trafficking cannot be stopped if we don't have a steel barrier or a concrete wall, something very powerful. It cannot be stopped. There is nothing. We have the most talented law enforcement people in the world, as far as I'm concerned right alongside of me and behind me. It doesn't mean a thing if they're going to be driving women and children through sections of the border where nobody is, where you can't be because you don't have enough manpower or woman power. You don't have enough of anything. You have 2,000 miles of border. So if you're not going to stop it, in all fairness, there's not much they can do. They can get them every once in a while. But the other way, we can eliminate the problem as it pertains to the area that is the worst problem. Probably the world's worst problem, because they come into the United States because we have the money. That's true with drugs. And everything I said for human trafficking is also true with drugs. So we got to get the politics out of this and go back to common sense. You know, they say it's a medieval solution, a wall. That's true. It's medieval because it worked then, and it works even better now. Israel put up a wall, 99.9% .9 successful, according to Bibi Netanyahu. He came into my office a couple of months ago. He said, what's with the wall? We put up a wall. It was 99.9% .9 successful. 99.9. .9. I said, do you mind if I use that number? He said, you know, because they'll, they'll fact check it. And they'll say, oh, it was actually only 99%. The President told the fib. Now, he told me 99.9. .9. Maybe he'll change it, make it 99. But they put up a wall, and they don't have a problem anymore. And we have to do the same thing. The United States must not incentivize or enable these evil crimes. Instead, we should do everything we can to fight them, and that's what we're doing. I call on Congress to send me a funding bill to secure the border, build a barrier, and help end this horrific assault on innocent life, not to mention the drugs, not to mention the gangs and the criminals. And I will very gladly sign this legislation having to do specifically with a horrible, horrible worldwide problem, human trafficking. And it's my honor to do it. And I very much appreciate all of the Democrat support. I very much do. Thank you. Okay. Just I'll explain to the press so often. For my whole life, I'd watch presidents. They'd sign one letter at a time. One letter. Did you ever look at these signatures? They're a disaster. So I sign it with one pen, and then I hand out pens. It works out much better. It's also a lot faster. Uh, folks, the ice guys. pass them. Yeah. yeah, where are my ice guys? Come on. Where are they? The Just pass them around. I think we have enough. We have enough for everybody. We're pretty accurate in our count. OK, here you go. Where's my senator back there? We, at least we have to take care of the Republicans. So <laughs> take, care of the, take care of the Democrat, right? Michael, you have it? Good. Yeah, that around, fellas. Chris? Mr. President, what do you say to those federal workers, uh, security guards, Secret Service agents, TSA agents, who are now going without pay? I think they have been terrific. These are terrific patriots. A lot of them agree with what I'm doing, and I hope we're going to have the situation worked out. But they want security in our country, and so do I. That's all we want. We want security. We want common sense. We want security in our country. Uh, when you look at what's going on, immigration just went to very high on your list. I saw even on your list. Uh, immigration is very high on the list, but we're not talking about just immigration. And I would like, and I'll say it in front of some of our Democrat friends here, 
I would love to see a big immigration bill where we really take care of the situation. I know you want to. Everybody wants to. Who wouldn't want to? Right now, we have a problem. We have to take care of this, and it's quicker and easier to do this individually. But we would like to see real immigration reform in this country, because we need it. And it could be a beautiful thing. And with all of the companies coming into our country, we have seven car companies now that are announcing or have announced just recently, and we have many car companies and other companies, as you know, they're flowing in. We have the best job numbers virtually that we've ever had. For African American, the best ever. Hispanic, Asian, the best ever. Mm -hmm the best in 50 years, and the overall number, and soon that's going to be beaten. So we have the best job numbers. We need people. We need great, qualified people. We want them to come in. So I think it's a great time right now because of that. We need people, Rob. And I mean, in Ohio, you need workers. And I know you feel the same way. I know Chris. I mean, I'll speak for Chris, but everybody wants to see immigration reform. It, it just, it's overdue. And it's always been very political, and maybe this will turn out to be a blessing in disguise. But, John, I, I will tell you this. Uh, the people out there want something to happen at our southern border, whether it's human trafficking, whether it's drugs, whether it's criminals, whether it's MS-13. Uh, the folks behind me know all about MS-13 and how violent and vicious they are and where they come from. And they all come from the same place, and they all come in the same way. They come right across that border. And we've thrown thousands out. I would say thousands, right, fellas? I mean, literally, MS-13, and you have yes. a lot of it. I know that, Rich. Uh, we throw thousands out a year, and then they come back. And we move them all the way back to where they came from, all the way back. And they find a way to come back again. We need strong borders, and we need immigration reform. Beyond that, we need immigration reform. But, okay, let's but, go. But, 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 but these people have to go without their paychecks. They're, they're, they're being, some are being forced to work without pay. Some have been furloughed. These are they park all get the money. They're all going to get the money, and I think they're going to be happy. And I will tell you, and I say it often, many of those people that you're talking about, so humanly the way you express it, but many of those people that you talk about are on my side. I've had so many people the beautiful thing is, with social media, the world can write to you. And you take a look at social media. So many of those people are saying, it's very hard for me, it's very hard for my family. But, Mr. President, you're doing the right thing. Get it done. I've had so many of them. They're patriots. They love our country. And they want to see it be done. Look, this is just common sense. They want to see it be done correctly. We need a barrier. We have to stop people from coming in the way they come in. And if we don't have it, you can never have border security unless you have a steel barrier, a concrete wall. You can call it whatever you want. But without it, you'll never have — you can have the greatest talent in the world. You will never, ever, in a million years, you will not have border security. can't happen. Mr. President, what's your current thinking on a national emergency? Why didn't you announce it last night, and when might because you — Because I think we might work a deal, and if we don't, I may go that route. I, I have the absolute right to do national emergency if I want. What's your threshold? Uh, my threshold will be if I can't make a deal with people that are unreasonable. What's your message to the Republicans who are now on Capitol Hill saying Oh, that? I think we have tremendous Republican support. I tell you what, I just spoke to a few of the people in the House. We have tremendous support. The Senate has been incredible. Mitch McConnell has been incredible. He said, if the President's not going to sign it, I'm not going to waste my time. And, I mean, Rob Portman's here. He can tell you he's very strong on border security. Uh, we have tremendous support in the Senate. We have tremendous support in the House. And, and by the way, you know, they say, oh, is it true that somebody's, you know, a congressman, he broke away. Okay. Uh, yeah, every once in a while you're going to have that. But you know who else has that? The Democrats have that, too, because they have their people breaking away, too. You know why? Because they know you need border security. But you don't report that. But the fact is that there is tremendous support. I would know, without support, I would be the first one to know. I may be the last one, too. But there is tremendous support. Right now, if I did something that was foolish, like gave up on border security, the first ones that would hit me are my senators. They'd be angry at me. The second ones would be the House. And the third ones would be, frankly, my base and a lot of Republicans out there and a lot of Democrats that want to see border security. Okay. What else? Any so, so, so why not sign the other bills, though, so some of these workers can get paid, the government you get You think I should do that? 
You, 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 you no, no, do you think I should do that, John? I mean, it's not for me I mean, to I say. I watch your one-sided reporting. Do you think I should do that? <laughs> hey, John. No, seriously, John, do you think I should just sign? Well, the, the argument no, no, is... tell me, tell me. John, do you think I should just sign? And, I, I, I'm saying that if you sign that, these workers can start getting paid. Uh, the government can so start... So you would do that? If you were in my position, you'd do that? I'm not in your position. I'm asking you if you've had something you I'm want asking to. you, would you do that if you were in my position? Because if you would do that, you should never be in this position. <laughs> because you'd never get anything done. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.